Hello, I'm Glenda Lewis, and here are your headlines from 7 Action News. New COVID-19 infection numbers showing a big drop. The state announced more than 21,000 new cases and 65 additional deaths over a three-day period. That makes the daily average for new infections just over 7,000. Experts are hinting that we could be approaching the endemic stage for COVID-19 as soon as this year, meaning the virus could always be circulating, but at low rates or causing just seasonal outbreaks. This, as the Food and Drug Administration has fully approved Moderna's COVID-19 vaccine. Until now, it's been given to adults under emergency use authorization. And thousands of individuals have come together in the wake of a deadly shooting at Oxford High School to help lift spirits in the grief-stricken community. School officials say donors have given around $1.6 million to the Oxford Community Memorial and Victims Fund in the two months since the tragedy. The funds which were held at Oxford Bank and Genesis Credit Union have now been turned over to the National Compassion Fund a steering committee is now being established to determine the eligibility for receiving the funds. Here's Chief Meteorologist Dave Rexroth. Now the check of your 7 First Alert forecast. Dave. And it's time to sharpen the shovels. It is not tonight into tomorrow, but it is uh, Tuesday late. We get some rain. It changes to snow by Wednesday morning. 4 a.m. Wednesday to 11 p.m. Thursday. Winter storm watch, that's over 40 hours to deal with this thing, and that means a lot of snow is coming our way. It'll be steady on Wednesday, back to steady, especially in the southern sections on Thursday. 5 to 10, I-69 and north, decreasing amounts as you go north of I-69. Uh, 10 to 14 across a good portion of the metro area. Southern sections of Wayne and Washtenaw County, farther south into Lenawee and Monroe, you could end up with the most 14 to 16 inches there. That's a total for Wednesday, Wednesday night, Thursday and Thursday night all together. 40 ahead of that uh, tomorrow, and then we go 34 early Wednesday, then dropping temperatures 23 on Thursday, and then the cold settles back in. Teens for highs Friday and Saturday, and we start the weekend at 3 below Saturday morning.